Good evening. I am Eliana Hornbuckle, the Nevada National Honor Society Secretary for the 2019-2020 school year. Thank you for joining us for our first ever virtual National Honor Society induction ceremony. We would like to thank Mr. Asmus, Mr. Cooper, the Nevada Tech Department, and all current NHS members for making this online induction possible. Although we are not physically together, we are excited to recognize and honor the accomplishments of our current members and our new inductees. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our National Honor Society President, Meredith Carter. Thank you, Eliana. I would also like to thank everyone for attending our virtual National Honor Society ceremony. We would especially like to thank NHS students and parents, Mr. Asmus, School Board, the Nevada School Foundation, Mr. Gray, and Mr. Smith. My name is Meredith Harder, and I am this year's president of the Nevada National Honor Society chapter. Since 1921, the National Honor Society has been recognizing outstanding students in the areas of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. According to Mr. Kevin Cooper, our advisor, the Nevada National Honor Society has been active for life forever. Tonight, we celebrate students that have excelled among their peers by inducting them into the National Honor Society. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Vice President Madison Davis. Membership in the National Honor Society is more than an honor. It carries with it a responsibility to demonstrate the outstanding qualities that determine your selection. To support the goal of scholarship, members must maintain a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 or higher. We strive to be leaders in the school through action and example. New members, you are challenged to continue striving for the goals of the National Honor Society, exhibiting character and leadership qualities as well as providing service to your school and community. One of the ways the chapter served our local community this year was a blood drive in partnership with the Lifeserve Blood Center of Iowa. I would like to welcome our National Honor Society Treasurer, Clara Miller. Thank you, Madison. This year, we set a new goal to be able to provide scholarships to two of our graduating members. We had a great turnout on the annual Crystal Ball Formal in February, generating a revenue of $1,448. Further, we introduced two new fundraisers to support our chapter and scholarship for our members. President Meredith Carter will elaborate on the success of these fundraisers. Thank you, Clara. This year, we held a bake sale in February at Tri Trivia Night, which is hosted by the Nevada School Foundation. At this event, we sold a variety of member-provided baked goods to Trivia Night participants. This fundraiser brought in a total revenue of $401.25. In early March, we held a fundraiser meal before the 5 through 12 Festival of Bands concerts. We asked local businesses for food donations and worked with our high school kitchen staff to serve a taco meal. While this meal was primarily a fundraiser, it also served our community by providing a convenient supper for band students, families, and community members before the concert. Overall, the bake sale and fundraiser meal were successful events and we hope to continue them in future years. As a result of these additional fundraisers, our total chapter balance is $1,562. This year, we will be awarding two $500 scholarships to senior members. A scholarship application form has been sent to senior members, and the scholarship will be presented at the NHS Awards Night. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Axmas, our guest speaker, to give a few remarks. Thank you, Madison. Well, this is very unique. When I agreed to speak at the 2019-2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony, 
I never thought it would be in front of an empty auditorium. I remember last year, my kids were with me while I was speaking, and I kept thinking the entire time, please don't do anything that brings attention to you. Three, please stay quiet. Please don't fight. Please just sit and listen. This time, I don't have to worry about that. Although I would do anything to have Paige, Mason, Brady, and maybe even six-month-old Deacon here tonight if that man was able to be in the same auditorium with all of you. However, that is not the case, but I do hope this ceremony brings together family and friends to celebrate the induction of 30 new members to National Honor Society and the ongoing excellence displayed by the 32 current members of National Honor Society. With that, I want to congratulate all the new inductees to the Nevada High School National Honor Society. Your hard work, leadership, service to others, and your ability to do the right thing, even when no one is looking, separates you from your peers and other high school students across the state of Iowa and the entire United States. Simply put, you are the best of the best and are now part of an elite group of students, past and present, who have demonstrated a high level of excellence through scholarship work, service, leadership, and one's overall character. I commend you, applaud you, and celebrate with you this well-deserved accomplishment you have earned through the way you live your life on a daily basis. With success comes support. Sitting with all of you today are family members and maybe even friends who have supported all of you along the way. All new and current members of NHS, please take a moment to thank the people closest to you who have supported you along the way. If there is someone you need to call or text after the ceremony to say thanks, make sure you take the time to do so. They deserve to hear from you. I I'd like to start off by letting Amelia Jones know, and others who I'm sure might be thinking, is he really going to give the same speech as last year? No, I'm not going to give the same speech as a lot has occurred over the past year. I'm not going to talk about the advice Coach Ferentz gave us while I was at Iowa, who, by the way, have beaten Iowa State the past five years, and it's like he's going to Kenny this year, so I'm just saying, this is Sutton, Chloe Henry. I'm not going to sing, and hopefully I won't cry. However, no guarantees on that because, well, let's be honest, it's been a crazy year. When I look at this group of students, I can't help but smile. I was fortunate to become the Nevada Middle School Assistant Principal in 2014 when the current 10th, 11th, and 12th graders were 5th, 6th, and 7th graders. Although some of you might have joined us along the way, to see the progress and growth each of you have made over the past six years is amazing. As my time as principal at Nevada High School comes to a close, I want to thank all of you and want all of you to know that you have made my time in Nevada Middle School and High School a memorable experience. I truly believe I'm a better son, husband, dad, educator, and person because of my experiences with all of you. So from the bottom of my heart, I thank all of you for demonstrating the qualities of character, service, leadership, and scholarship on a daily basis. My message to all of you tonight is simple. Learn from one another. Whether we like it or not, we are all products of our environment. No matter if that environment is positive or negative, who we surround ourselves with impacts our decision-making process. My challenge to you is to surround yourself with people whose values most align with your own. The question you might not know is what qualities do people have that I should follow? Again, it's simple. The answer is right in front of you. Learn from one another. Surround yourself with people who have empathy for others and accept people for who they are, not what they are. Follow the lead of Anna Thompson, Caitlin Kingsbury, J.J. Williamson, Meredith Harder, Lucinda Hobart, Anna Brown, who are six of the kindest and caring students we have here at Nevada High School. You set a great example for our younger students by both your words and your actions. Surround yourself with people who have passion. Follow the lead of Grace Cahill, who has a passion for cooking, Avery Mather, Samara Sharp, and Claire Miller, who have a passion for working with animals, Caleb Gilchrist, who has a passion for video development, Hannah Fritz, who has a passion for being a school administrator, smart girl, Madison Davis, who has a passion for becoming a teacher, positively impacting the lives of students, or Ellie Gray and Madison McGaffin, who have a passion for helping others. Surround yourself with people who are determined to complete any task, Follow the lead of Eric Bell and Andrew Rohde, who are determined to defend our country. Aiden Rhodes and Casey Rewards, who are determined to continue their athletic careers beyond high school. 
Reagan Chitty, who was determined to earn as many AP and college credits as possible during her time at Nevada High School. Savannah Skaggs, who was determined to work before school next year and complete her CNA certification. She'll only be a junior. Or Ben Ryan, who is currently pursuing full-time jobs to assist with college expenses. Surround yourself with people who have grit and are able to persevere through adversity. Follow the lead of Aiden Selber and Michaela Dunson, who have battled through injuries throughout their high school career and persevered through challenging times. Eva Keller, who earned her induction into the National Honor Society this past year by remaining positive and persevering through the past few years of high school. Ella Higgins, who lives in a house with four brothers, yet might be the strongest and most determined of all of her siblings. Keaton Fry, who underwent a position change this past year during the football season and led Nevada High School to our first district football championship. Or Michaela and McKinley Spade, who when tragedy struck, struck their family, didn't back down. Instead, they raised, rose to the occasion, and I know their words and actions make their father, Charlie, proud every single day. Surround yourself with people who have a vision for change. Follow the lead of Kaylee Edmonds, Sarah Miller, Marissa Lindemann, and Charlie Adams, who have created and led student groups at Nevada High School. Amelia Jones, who would like to work with plants and adapt plants into new cultures of growth. Eliana Hornbuckle, who has a desire to create a program that will protect the environment and is based off the development of the Earth's natural resources. Alex Sutton, who wants to be an engineer. Or Bianca Spencer, sponsor, who has aspirations of becoming a medical doctor. Surround yourself with people who have a kind heart. Follow the lead of Tessa Borwick, who recently made hundreds of protective masks for other people. Bailey Crane and Ben Uncle Patch who always take the time to say hi and connect with my kids every time they see them. Aaron Kugler, who volunteers to help individuals in need, regardless of their age. Nora Engstrom and Megan Muscles, who requested to help distribute food to families in need during our current COVID-19 closure. Briar Crane, who every year volunteers to help with the Special Olympics. Taylor Conrad, who has volunteered hundreds of hours helping families in need. Or Erica Spore, who has devoted her time helping middle school students through our business internship opportunity. Surround yourself with people who have the courage and confidence to try something new. Follow the lead of Addison Anderson and Ella Tu, who have led the Cub Grub Student Enterprise this past year and taken the program to new heights or Elliot Frieders, Noah Adelman, Cody Crushwitz, and Henry Nelson, who went out of their comfort zone and participated in the Spring Musical this past year. Surround yourself with people who have a sense of humor. Follow the lead of Chloe Henry, Izzy Humblepatch, Aubrey Gibson, Macy Backoff, and Austin Kruges, who don't know this, but were my go-to people whenever things were a bit rocky at school. Their sense of humor always changed my attitude and put me into a better mood. Surround yourself with people who are positive and find the good in any situation, no matter how rocky the road might be. Follow the lead of Bridget Patterson, Grace Hyde, Kylie Bett, Malia Pratt, and River Dieters, who always have a smile on their face and are looking for the positives in any situation. If I were to, br to bring the major concerns on my mind right now to these five students, I'm sure they would find something positive for me to think about. For example, I'm not sure how this virtual ceremony is going to turn out. River would tell me it's going to be fine. It's better than not having it at all. I'm also not sure how online learning is going to go for our students. Malia would tell me it's going to be fine. Students can earn credits and seniors will still be able to graduate. This is at least the 20th take of this speech, and I'm worried I'm going to mess up one more time. Grace would tell me no big deal. Practice makes perfect. Let's be honest. My hair is absolutely awful right now, and I desperately need a haircut. Kylie would tell me not to worry. You'll be able to get a haircut soon. And lastly, I'm going to miss working with and seeing all the high school students next year as I transition into a new position. Bridget would tell me it's fine. You'll still be working in the beta, and you can come to the high school and see the students anytime you want. For these students only being in high school and already demonstrating emotional self-awareness is remarkable. Those are the type of people I want my kids to be when they grow up. Lastly, surround yourself with people who put their words and actions together, which ultimately dictates their character. Follow the lead of all 62 members of the Nevada High School National Honor Society. Leadership, service, 
scholarship, and character are the pillars that National Honor Society are built on. Do not let this achievement change the way in which you conduct yourself on a daily basis. All of you currently in National Honor Society, and those of you being inducted tonight, give us the hope that a positive change is on the horizon. Because my hope is that if you lead, others will follow. Remember, if we can get others to learn from you, change is coming. However, you dictate what that change will be. Will it be positive or negative? The choice is yours. If you aren't sure where to start, listen to my hero, my mom, Darlene Asmus, who unfortunately passed away on May 22, 2019. And yeah, it's been a rough year for us. But in order to keep her legacy alive, I promised myself I would always rem remind others to do what she reminded me to do every day before she dropped me off for school when I was in elementary and middle school. Before I would leave, she would stop me and say, Cody, have a great day and do something nice for someone today. Simple, short, and to the point. Do something nice for someone today. It can be as simple as the way you act on a daily basis, by having a passion, determination, grit and perseverance, a vision for change, empathy for others, a kind heart, courage and confidence to try something new, a sense of humor, or just maybe a positive outlook. But most importantly, continue to have a positive impact on others. Although my advice to you is to learn from those around you, it is important to remember that others are learning from you as well. What do you want their takeaways to be? You have the power to decide. Congratulations to all of you, but please understand the work isn't done. Start by doing something nice for someone today. Be safe, be smart, and I can't wait to see all of you soon. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you for your remarks, Mr. Rasmus. At this time, it's my pleasure to recognize our current members. When I read your name, please stand and remain standing. Alex Sutton. Amelia Jones, Anna Brown, Austin Kruzich, Avery Mather, Bailey Crane, Benjamin Rima, Bianca Sponseller, Charlie Adams, Clara Miller, Eliana Hornbuckle, Ellie Gray, Elliot Frieders, Erica Spohr, Eric Bell, Grace Cahill, Grace Hayden, Hannah Thompson, Isabel Humblepatch, JJ Williamson, Casey Rewerts, Caitlin Kingsbury, Keaton Fry, Lucinda Hobart, Macy Backoff, Madison Davis, Madison McGaffin, Malia Pratt, Megan Wessels, Reagan Chitty, and Samara Sharp. Please help me in congratulating our current members. Now we will begin to induct new members. This senior male made a name for himself through track, the weight room, and football where he was a captain. However, he left his comfort zone as a senior joining both choir and the musical cast. Along with working at Fairway, he also volunteers for Harmony Clothing Closet, Cub Den, as well as the PTA Carnival and Evergreen Lane. Among his many awards in athletics are the Chuck Graham Award for a player with high standards of human dignity, the Chuck Anderson Award for offensive linemen, first team all district and second team all state offensive linemen, and two time Ironman winner for dedication to the weight room, to name a few. I would like to welcome my fellow Ironman, Noah Edelman, son of Eric and Jenny Edelman, into National Honor Society. This inductee is a senior who's been involved in the Beta Nerds Anonymous, drama, individual speech, group speech, key club, jazz choir, and the NHS Gay Straight Alliance. They've held multiple leadership positions throughout their high school career in both the Nevada Nerds Anonymous and Drama. They've also attended two leadership conferences and volunteered through Camp Invention and Trivia Night. We would like to welcome River Dieters, descendant of Lindsay and Noah Dieters, into National Honor Society. This senior girl is involved in so many activities outside of school. 
She has dedicated her life to becoming an amazing dancer in all different types of dance. She has used her dance skills to help the NHS drama department as a student choreographer, and she has spread joy by performing her dances at local nursing homes. She has found new hobbies while being a member of FFA. She's taken pride in leadership as a drum major in the high school marching band. We would like to welcome our friend, Eva Kellen, daughter of Jeff and Kim Kellen, into National Honor Society. This senior boy participates in a wide variety of extracurricular activities, including choir, the 2020 musical, football, soccer, track, basketball, FFA, Rotary, and FCA. He shows great leadership in all of his activities. He was selected team captain in football and basketball. He has also attended many leadership conferences throughout high school. Not only has he showed great leadership and character, but he has also been very successful in all of his activities, including first team all district quarterback, two-time district punter MVP, football golden award, second team all-conference midfielder, and while doing that, he has succeeded in the classroom, earning honor roll in all four years of high school. I would like to welcome my friend, Cody Kreshwitz, son of Kevin and Beth Kreshwitz, into National Honor Society. This senior boy has participated in a wide variety of extracurriculars in his time as a high schooler. Some of these activities include football, basketball, soccer, and choir. Most recently, he expanded his involvement to include this year's musical, Bye Bye Birdie, in a short time with the track team this spring. He has not only been involved as a student at Nevada, but has also excelled as an athlete and leader. He has been recognized numerous times for his achievements, some of which include an all-district mention for football, a second-team all-conference mention for basketball, two all-conference mentions for soccer, and even a selection to this year's homecoming court. On top of all of his involvement with the activities, he has still found time to dedicate towards service as a junior Rotarian. With that, I would like to welcome my friend Henry Nelson, son of Richard and Andrea Nelson, into National Honor Society. This senior male participates in a wide variety of extracurriculars, including football, basketball, baseball, and soccer. Despite being involved in numerous school activities, he still finds time to volunteer for different organizations. He was a referee for Children's Athletics. He was involved in many activities with Cornerstone Church, such as going on mission trips and being in a WANA leader. From student council to Boys State, this senior has helped many people around him. He is also a member of the United States National Guard. I would like to welcome one of my friends, Andrew Rody, son of Lisa and Mark Rody, in the National Honor Society. This senior boy has been actively involved throughout his high school career. This individual has been involved in FFA, Rotary, RSVP, and swimming, just to name a few. He has been actively volunteering throughout the community with the FFA Community Winter Dinner, Food at First, and the Growing Harmony Farms. He's also earned many different awards, such as Academic Letters, Varsity Letters, and the FFA Academic Achievement Letter. We would like to welcome Aiden Selberg, son of Lorna Carroll, and Mike Selberg into the National Honor Society. This junior female participates in a wide variety of extracurriculars, including choir, band, cross country, speech, track, basketball, and FCA. She also had a leading role in this year's spring musical, Bye Bye Birdie. Her solo song, How Lovely to Be a Woman, inspired the comedic parody, How Lovely to Be a Runner. She volunteers extensively with the Nevada Baptist Church by helping with Vacation Bible School, camps, and attending leadership seminars. I've gotten to know this individual well during car rides to morning waits and socially distanced lunch dates. I would like to welcome my friend and neighbor, Taylor Conrad, daughter of Troy and Jennifer Conrad, into National Honor Society. This junior girl is involved in soccer, volleyball, and basketball cheer. Outside of school, she enjoys spending time with children when working at Little Cubs Child Care while teaching young volleyball players new skills at camps and while babysitting. She also got a special opportunity to go to Costa Rica and spend time at a local school. This junior girl has spent numerous service hours in her community through school and her other activities. 
I've had the privilege to get to know this girl more during this past volleyball season while playing back row with her. It was so much fun to see her grow as a player and a person over the season, and I am very proud to call her my friend and my teammate. We would like to welcome Erin Kugler, the daughter of Shay and Amy Kugler, into National Honor Society. This junior girl has participated in countless activities throughout high school. She has been involved in soccer, basketball, FFA, volleyball managing, and dance team. Leadership is something this girl possesses through her time volunteering at FFA Community Winter Dinners, in the dance studio, Animal Act Day, and at community events such as Summer Bible School. This individual has received many varsity athletic letters and was the most improved basketball player. As her teammate, I firsthandly have seen all the hard work she has put in to gain success in what she does. Please help me welcome my friend, Kayla Dunson, daughter of Tony and Brenda Dunson, into the National Honor Society. This junior participates in several activities at Nevada High School, such as band, choir, drama, speech, key club, and several others. She is a very active member of all of these organizations. Additionally, she puts in a lot of hard work and extra time to develop her individual skills as well. She has participated in several civic center conferences to improve her stage managing skills as she is one of the lead stage managers for all drama productions at Nevada High School. She is also a section leader in the band and a very involved member of the Nevada High School Choir. Not only is Nora very hardworking, but she also perseveres through every situation as well. She is a great leader in every situation that she is put in and she's always someone that you can trust. She is also always kind to those that are around her. Please help me welcome the daughter of Fred and Tracy Angstrom to National Honor Society, Nora Angstrom. This junior female is an active participant in many activities throughout her school and the community. She has played soccer and basketball, as well as cross country and golf. Besides athletics, she is involved in FFA, FCA, Key Club, and large group improv. On top of all of this, she finds time to volunteer at her church and serve the community at Harmony Clothing Closet and Kids at First. Please help us in welcoming our friend, Hannah Fritz, daughter of Angie and Jeremy Fritz, into the National Honor Society. This junior female participates in a wide variety of extracurriculars, including volleyball, basketball, soccer, FFA, 4-H, FCA, choir, and large group speech. Despite being involved in so many activities, she still finds time to volunteer throughout the community, work at her family's farm, babysit, and much more. I personally have many memories with her from County Fair throughout the years. I would like to welcome one of my childhood best friends, Aubrey Gibson, daughter of Adam and Michelle Gibson, into National Honor Society. This junior female has been involved in many activities. She has been a part of the soccer team and volleyball team, and she has also supported her fellow teammates and friends as the girls' basketball manager. In her free time, you can find her working at the Green Hills Retirement Community. When she is not working or playing sports, she is also an active FFA member. She has competed in many activities. I am glad to introduce my fellow FFA member, Chloe Henry, the daughter of Shelly Anderson and Mark Henry. This junior, soon to be senior, has participated in volleyball, cheerleading, golf, and chorus. She's very generous with her time, as she has served at many places, including Food at First, Harmony Clothing Closet, and she served as a, y a mentor for YSS. She works to better herself through leadership conferences and has been honored with many academic awards throughout her time at Nevada High School. She also says that she enjoyed her time at her family's restaurant, which is something I'm sure not many of us can say. Please help me welcome daughter of Chris and Eileen Patterson, Bridget Patterson, International Honor, so Honor Society. Congratulations. This junior guy is active in many sports at Nevada. Throughout high school, he has participated in football, soccer, basketball, and track. 
He volunteers in our community in many ways, such as summer camps for young athletes. In addition, he was selected to attend Boys State this summer. I'd like to welcome Aiden Rhodes, son of Jill and Matt Rhodes, into National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in various activities, such as FFA and Student Council, while also volunteering a vast amount of her time to organizations like Harmony Clothing Closet and her FFA chapter. By volunteering her time to help with the FFA winter dinner and faculty breakfast. Additionally, she volunteered for the American Legion and helped them take down flags. At this time, I would like to welcome Addison Anderson, the daughter of Jeff and Robbie Anderson, into the Nevada National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in a wide variety of extracurricular activities. They include helping out with the Special Olympics, Food at First, and FFA. She is a large part of Nevada's FFA program and actively participates in conduct of meetings, parliamentary procedure, and the winter dinner. Despite being involved in numerous activities within Nevada High School, she still finds time to volunteer with her local church. Please help me in welcoming Kylie Beving, the daughter of Josh and Andrea Beving, into National Honor Society. This sophomore girl has spent her time participating in athletics and dedicating her time to volunteering. I got to spend the last two years playing soccer, running track, and recently laughed our way through my last basketball season with her. When she's not a soccer captain or on student council and winning awards in 4-H, she's been making diapers, blankets, pillowcases, and preparing meals for Haiti. She even donated canned food items she had received in place of birthday gifts. I would like to welcome Tessa Borwick, daughter of Chad and Vanessa Borwick into National Honor Society. This sophomore female has participated in many athletic activities throughout her time at Nevada High School. She has been in track, softball, cross country, and basketball. As a freshman, she joined large group speech, and this year I got to be in the same choral reading group as her that made it to large group state speech. She has spent a lot of her time working at gatherings as a server and at Fawcett Family Aquatic Center as a lifeguard. Although she is in many activities, for many years, she has been able to volunteer her time to work with Special Olympic athletes near our community, as well as help run Vacation Bible School at St. Patrick's Church. Please help me welcome Briar Crane, my sister and daughter of Sean and Trisha Crane, into National Honor Society. This sophomore has been involved in an impressive number of activities, including football, drama, FTC robotics team, and a variety of others. Across all their activities, this student has shown tremendous growth, demonstrated excellent attention to detail, and consideration for others. In between these activities and her summer jobs, this student has also taken time to volunteer for a number of organizations, including Kids at First and YSS Mentoring, for over 70 hours. She has also been recognized with a number of academic awards for her outstanding intelligence, work ethic, and character. It is a pleasure to welcome my friend Kaylee Edmonds into National Honor Society. This sophomore boy has been involved in various extracurricular activities, including golf, cross country, and robotics. He's also been involved in both band and jazz band. To add on, this sophomore has volunteered much of his time as a student ambassador, church service camera operator, and high school sports film editor. Although I do not know him well, this former student of the month is a pristine example of what National Honor Society is all about. Please help me in welcoming Caleb Gilchrist, son of Jeff and Sarah Gilchrist, into National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in athletics, volunteering, and is involved in her church. Through playing golf with her and becoming friends, I've gotten to know her very well. She spends her time helping others and giving back to the community. Throughout her time in high school, she has volunteered at events such as Cub Den, Fit at First, and basketball tournaments. This female is also on the basketball team and has already earned a varsity letter. I'm excited to be able to help welcome Ella Higgins into National Honor Society. Ella is the daughter of Shane and Sherry Higgins. This sophomore male participates in many activities, 
On the more artsy side, he's acted in drama, individual speech, group speech, has been in jazz band and jazz choir. He also is part of the FTC Robotics team. He is all about making the world a better place by being in key clubs, student ambassadors, student council, RSVP, Teens for Loves, GSA, the FCA, and the Ethics Bowl. He continues to make the world a better place by volunteering over 180 hours just between the fall of 2018 and the spring of 2020. He has worked multiple jobs, and I can't have to cut for time all of the amazing things he's been in. As his older sister, I would like to welcome Benjamin Humpel Pash, the son of Donna Humpel and Mike Pash, into National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in several extracurricular activities, including Key Club, GSA, Teens for Love, RSVP, Choir, Band, Dance Team, Drama, Jazz Choir, and Ethics Bowl. She has shown initiative by starting the new school group, Teens for Love, and serving as the Vice President of Cub Colors. Despite all of the activities she's involved in, she still finds time to volunteer in the community by mentoring, being a student ambassador, volunteering at Harmony Club and Closet, and Buddha First. Please help me in welcoming Marissa Lindemann, daughter of Steve Lindemann, into the National Honor Society. This sophomore female is active both in and out of Nevada High School. Not only is she a part of speech, drama, choir, and band, but she also loves to show off her baking skills in 4-H. In addition to always finding new ways to expand her abilities, she's a leader in our community as she serves on multiple 4-H committees. Even with her busy schedule, she finds ways to serve others by volunteering at Harmony and even going all the way to Haiti. I'm proud to induct my sister, Sarah Miller, daughter of Todd and Eileen Miller, into National Honor Society. This sophomore has been heavily involved in what is just the beginning of her high school career. Throughout high school, she has participated in high school varsity soccer, where she lettered and made her first trip to state with the team last season. She has also been a part of the basketball team. Off the field, she has been involved in group improv and uh, was a mentor for kindergartner through youth shelter services. Outside of school, she does a large amount of volunteering from food at first, helping out with youth soccer teams, Meals on Wheels, Downtown Trick or Treating, and Days Dash. Even though she is only a sophomore, she has received a fair amount of awards and achievements throughout her time in high school. She has received two academic awards in both soccer and basketball, as well as received a spot on the second team all-conference roster for soccer. I am so happy to call her not only my teammate, but someone who is like a little sister to me. I would like to officially induct Savannah Skaggs into the National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in both athletic activities and FFA. She has given back to her community by volunteering at the FFA Community Winter Dinner, her church, and at the animal shelter. She manages basketball and has littered two years playing softball. Although she spends lots of hours volunteering and being involved in athletic events, she takes her academics very seriously and received her first academic letter last year. Please help me welcome Michaela Spade, daughter of Vicki Spade and the late Charlie Spade, into National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in multiple extracurricular activities, such as FFA, softball, and managing boys basketball. She has taken advantage of many leadership and service opportunities through FFA, including Green Hand Fire Up, National Convention, and Winter Dinner. She also serves her community through her church and by volunteering for the Special Olympics. In addition to her busy school and service schedule, she manages to babysit and work for Nevada Parks and Recreation. I have had the pleasure of getting to know her as a softball teammate and friend. I admire her fiery competitive spirit, positive attitude, and friendly smile. Please join me in welcoming McKinley Spade, daughter of Vicki and the late Charlie Spade, into National Honor Society. This sophomore female participates in both athletics and FFA at Nevada High School. She is an active member of the Nevada FFA and 4-H clubs, where she has spent several years of involvement through her swine project. She also plays softball for the Nevada Cubs. I have gotten to know her through FFA events and many years of showing livestock. This student also spends a lot of time at FFA conferences and conventions. 
She finds time to help her community and school by volunteering at Food at First and FFA events, such as the FFA Winter Dinner. I would like to welcome Ella Toot, daughter of Darren and Carrie Toot, into National Honor Society. At this time, I would like the new inductees to stand and recite the inductees' pledge of me. I pledge to myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been elected, striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the ideals of my life. Congratulations to our new inductees. Thank you all for attending this year's National Honor Society induction. Thank you and congratulations to our new inductees. 